Well, Jack, you're at your first captain's day. How's it all going? I'm having fun. I'm really enjoying it. We had Brecky with the AFL Commission. Um, got to meet some, you know, a lot of people that I haven't met before. Now we get to have a chat with, um, you know, the media, and then you know, followed by a bit of a Toyota function. Um, so it's been good. I'm really enjoying it so far. Your second year as captain. How are you enjoying it so far? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm loving every second of it. I'm continuing to grow every day with it. I love working with Nathan and, and Goody. And um, yeah, just trying to really drive the football club and um, you know make something special happen. You have a pretty good rivalry with uh, Jack. You've met him today. Uh, how's it all going at the captain's day with him? Yeah, no, I've pl uh, played on him a couple of times and you know, he's he's got to a place now as captain of the footy club at such a young age um, that you can see why he is. People would follow him the way that he talked upstairs before to the commission. Uh, he's a quality young man and um, Melbourne are lucky to have him. Round one, how's it all going for yourself? Uh, yeah, mate, we're ready to go. I mean, um, been in a little bit of a holding pattern, it feels like, probably like you guys for this period of time. Pre-seasons go for a long time, so round one, um, looking forward to it. I mean, you guys played really well in, throughout the JLT series, been watching on, um, and yeah, we look forward to being ready, uh, just like you guys do. Well, Pete, who's going to win round one, Melbourne or Geelong? Oh, that's a tough question. I live in Geelong, but uh, with Dangerfield possibly missing, I'll go Melbourne. Melbourne Football Club, given I am on a Melbourne football website. No, I'm really bullish. I think the midfield's fantastic. Uh, no doubt, Melbourne win. Demons. And I'm not just saying that because I'm speaking to Demon TV. I really think they'll win. What about Melbourne? Are you expecting me to say Geelong? Let's, let's be diverse. Let's be unpredictable. Melbourne. Who's your demon to watch this year? Uh, I reckon Mitch Hannon. I, I really like the look of what he was doing last year. I think he could be one of the, the more effective uh, medium-sized forwards in the competition. I think Angus Brayshaw. I think he's been hard, harshly dealt with by a concussion for a couple of years and I'm looking forward to watching him play because I still reckon he's a gun. Where do you think the D's will finish? I did say ninth and I'm sticking with it much to the disgust of a few people. How many matches will the D's win this year? I think probably 12. And where will Melbourne finish? Probably 12th.